Hey guys, it's Ellie. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I literally just washed my hair and got out of the shower and because I wanted to lighten this red and this red is not going anywhere, bitch. It's not going anywhere. I want to sit down, do a quick like look of the day, chit chat with you guys and I've already washed my face. I've already done my skincare because I got, I got out of the shower and I always do that. I literally did it before starting the video so that sucks i know but i'll just tell you guys really quickly <sighs> it smells so good and i have a four system skincare which is fucking amazing and you will look flawless this is my soap it's a 24 karat collagen soap this is for face and body all of my products especially these three basically the job of the 24 karat collagen day serum night serum and the soap is it gets rid of like pigmentation like if you have acne scars, age spots, sunspots, it's it's like an eraser. It brightens your complexion, gets rid of pollution, like pollution and, and uh, makeup and brightens your complexion, gets rid of fine lines. It, it tightens your skin and it makes your skin look fucking amazing. And you never will have acne in your life again. If you use this shit every single fucking day, especially these three, if you use these three products here, you will never get acne again and your skin will be flawless. I put the eyelashes down and I did the skincare, but now we can do the makeup really quickly as I make this video. Everything is vegan, everything is cruelty free, everything's clean, so you're not gonna have any allergic reaction because I get allergic reactions towards anything that like like mink lashes. I get like the craziest like reaction and I can wear this I can wear all day long today I just want to talk to you guys about like I've done a quick little uh three minute video on my on my uh TikTok account about how celebrities manifest and i thought it's such like a cool subject to talk about because you know a lot of us individually admire certain artists right you know i'm a huge selena fan i love selena gomez and taylor swift and not so much like their music is just the way they are and definitely they're feminist very 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 like feminist energy and independence and i really love that even if they have to crush the love they have for somebody in a relationship, they will crush it to love themselves more. And I really relate to that and I really love that and I wanna talk about that. I've been defending Selena Gomez for as long as I can remember on my YouTube channels. And then recently I feel like I have to defend uh, Taylor. I don't know why she's getting a lot of hate. I understand why people are freaking out because they're saying like, oh, I'm just sick of her, she's everywhere. Um, and it's just kind of like the girl is just like living her dream. She's manifested all of this for herself. Instead of hating on her, you should just be inspired by her. So Taylor's getting a lot of hate. At the Grammys, she went on stage and uh, there's so many things that people are hating on her for. They're saying that she should have not dragged Lana up on stage. It's embarrassing, like she she lost. It doesn't matter if they have the same uh, you know, manager. Taylor was actually sharing the stage with her. Like that's actually like how fucking amazing she is. Instead of going in there and being like, hi, I won. She was trying to share the stage. Now, the fact that she overlooked Celine Dion, I don't think there was anything malice or sinister about it. She obviously was super excited. 13 is her favorite number. A lot of things have happened for her. Number 13 is her lucky number. Basically, she just was fucking excited and she overlooked who presented her the thing. Okay, oh my God, I know it sucks, but Jesus Christ, she's fucking human. You know what I mean? A lot of times people get up there on the on when they win awards and stuff like that and they literally forget to like thank their husbands and wives. There was a time that one time Jennifer Aniston got up on stage for winning something uh, for like friends and she forgot to thank her husband, Brad Pitt at the time. And everybody was like, what the fuck, dude? Like Brad Pitt is your husband and you forgot to like mention him so like this happens all the time it's just the excitement you know you feel rushed because they always show you like the light that you have to get off get off stage because you're talking too much and then they're saying she's a witch and yeah she's a fucking witch get over it i'm a witch sometimes i do light magic sometimes i do black magic somebody fucks with me i'm going to curse you if i love you i'm going to heal you it's really simple i don't give a fuck who you are it could be a friend family lover client if you fuck with me, I'm gonna curse you. If you respect me and I love you and you appreciate me, I'm gonna heal you. I'm gonna make sure the world is gonna open up and give you everything you ever desired. Like if a client comes to me and I and they're respectful and they pay on time, they show up on time and they don't talk shit behind my back or try to start shit, 
and or be disrespectful and move mountains for you. But if you show me that you're a fucking snake and you're going to be disrespectful, you're going to question me, you're going to question my authority, you're going to question my abilities, you're going to question my gifts, I'm going to fucking curse you. Then you have something to cry about. So is Taylor vindictive and vengeful? Fuck yeah, she is. I don't give a fuck that she's like that. Good for her. You guys need to just stop this like goody two shoe bullshit all the time in your life. Like you got to get savage, you guys. You can't sit around and be like, oh, I need to be a good person. Why? Who told you you need to be a good person? What does it mean to be a good person? To be a good person doesn't mean that you have to get shit on, stepped on, treated like a fucking shit. Like, no, no. Those are the people that end up coming to me and saying, oh my God, I got treated like this. Yeah, well, it's your fucking fault that you're getting treated like that. The only reason you get treated, treated like that is because you're allowing it. So you're manifesting it further by talking about it. So how do celebrities manifest? The way celebrities manifest is absolutely brilliant. So let's say they want to make Selena Gomez big or they want to make Taylor Swift big or they want to make BTS big, right? So already people are responding to this artist, right? Like they like them, but they don't know. And then the machinery of the industry comes in and kind of shows it to them like you sh they show us these artists over and over and over and over your brain eventually is going to be like you know what i kind of like taylor swift or i kind of like selena gomez or i kind of like bts and then you start listening to the songs and then they are putting spells on you by the way just fyi are putting a spell on you just fyi they are putting spells on you and then they collectively once they get the masses talking about it that artist is able to manifest the artist is already manifesting oh i want to become an artist i want to become a huge star the artist is already like thinking that way wanting to have multiple businesses wanting to be everywhere at the same time why are you guys hating on that you guys should be inspired by that don't ever hate the player learn how to play the game and that's the problem here the problem here is people just hating because they're jealous most of the time I'm even experiencing that with clients. Like my clients are getting jealous of me because they're like, well, I wish that I could sit around and just like make videos, but I don't have that luxury. And it's just like, what? Well, I'm trying to teach you how to have that luxury. What the fuck are you bitching about? Listen, she's fucking living her dream. Like leave, leave her the fuck alone. Like she's manifesting it. She wanted to become a huge star. She talked about that. She said, Taylor said something like, you know, I wasn't winning. Uh, and I sat down with my team and I was like, what do we need to do? What do we need to do for me to start winning? Do you think that she just wants to me make music just to be? No, she wants to fucking win. She wants to be recognized for her art. Is she a witch? I don't fucking know. She probably is. Is she a satanic witch? I don't fucking know. And I don't fucking care. Good for her. Some people have the, some people have the, the stomach to do stuff like that. If they want to sell their soul or whatever fuck they want to do you know as a manifestation coach this is your fucking reality you can fucking do whatever you want you want to be a satanist you want to worship the devil you want to sell your soul you want to drink children's blood what the fuck was it to me <laughs> why why do i need to have an attitude about it good for you because this is your life you have one life and then when you die we don't know you're gonna come back or not or what, what the fuck is gonna happen to you about the future don't worry about the past just do your own thing just do your own thing. I'm gonna do Celestia today and I know it's gonna be really bright. I know this is gonna be really bright and it may not even register on camera because the lighting right now is kind of weird. It's like 11 o'clock as I'm doing this video. So I'm gonna do a red lip liner and then I'm gonna do Celestia. I love her. I'm inspired by her. She's a businesswoman. She's not stupid. She knows what she's doing. Uh, and I think that Travis, Kelsey, whatever his name is, I think is going to propose to her. Super Bowl. This Travis guy, I think, has won the Super Bowl already twice. So if he wins again, it's going to be three times. Now, he's already successful. You know, I didn't know who the fuck he was, but apparently he's already successful. Look at this fucking color right now. That was a good choice. I think doing the red lip liner really made it more like of a statement because I think by itself a little bit too bright but that little bit of a liner around the lip just gave it some like stability or something this is literally fucking gorgeous right now so this is Celestia this is from my summer 
spring collection from last year i have dark colors i have light colors i have beige nudie colors like i really love my lipstick collection and i do need to sit down and do like a new um like swatching for all the lipsticks so we can see what it looks like you know my skin tone has changed so much because of my skincare products like my skin used to be really dark because i used to go in the sun all the time but now i wear like a fucking 70 like um uh what do you call it uh sunscreen like day and night i don't lay out i i go to the beach but i'm like always covered um i don't i don't lay out i don't let my skin get too exposed you know but uh this is the look of the day it's so pretty it's so soft i haven't done my highlighter yet so let's do the highlighter it's how celebrities manifest they focus on what they want and then they have a team behind them they have a team behind them that helps facilitate that then they get the masses did i even finish the conversation no then they get the masses to manifest for them that's how they, they do it so when one 100 1000 1 million people are saying oh my god taylor swift taylor swift's concert oh my god bts oh my god selena then you basically are having you're basically having the world manifesting for you that is power that is fucking amazing like anyone out there that wants to become successful whether it's in business or academic or whatever it is like look at these people that are successful like surround yourself with people that are successful and then try to learn from them don't hate them don't ridicule them and look at what happened to like Haley. like Haley baldwin got herself close to the kardashian jenners and it inspired her to start her own skincare and all of that like she learned from kylie she learned from kim watching them and it's like now she's doing it and now she's selling and now she became a celebrity instead of hating just fucking jump on that crazy wagon and just make shit happen for yourself manifest this is your life focus on yourself do your own thing don't worry about other people and stop hating on people because they want to be successful they want to make money um anyways i wanted to talk about that because i think it's really important how like, basically the celebrities and their team are able to get the masses to further manifest for the individual artists which is so, so powerful i have a million subscribers here and i say something they and they all run with it it's going to manifest for me like if i say i'm running for miss america and then everyone's like oh my god yes Kelly's going to run for miss america and oh my god yes she's going to win and we're just like we're behind you queen and i'm like you all manifesting that for me like I think like when I was trying to get out of this toxic relationship with this person that I was with, I think the people that, cause I was on a daily on live streaming and telling everybody how much I hated this guy and how much he was abusing me and how much, how unhealthy this relationship was, they manifested for me. I was already manifesting without even realizing that I was manifesting the breakup. But then also my followers, I know manifested for me. Cause some of them would be like, Ellie, like, cause we, we were breaking up and getting back together. And a lot of people were saying, I don't, I'm not gonna watch you anymore. If you're gonna get back together with this guy, you just, you deserve better queen. And he treats you like shit. And it just like really hurts us to see you like this. And it hurts us seeing you cry. It's like, they manifested for me. I was manifesting, but then they manifested for me too, for this shit to like, for it to break up like i i know like sometimes i think about it it's like i'm bitching about it i'm complaining about it and then i have like all these people watching me adoring me telling me that they love me and they want the best for me and this guy's a piece of shit which everybody was right about that by the way and it's like it just like happened so that's how celebrities manifest they get the masses to manifest with them right so they're already thinking about what it is that they want to accomplish and then they get the masses and that's why people still can't get over justin and selena's saga because it's like it was manifested on such a worldwide level guys, when i get this look get the skincare uh the eyeshadow palette the blush and highlighter palette the lipstick is celestia and i just use a red lip liner and i think it just made it look so much better and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts down below and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning because we're going to be doing these fucking coffee morning vlogs every day and ellie just needs to become more disciplined Paris is behind me. She got her period. She's super fucking clingy. Like I was literally in the shower and she was like hanging on, like wanting me to hold her. I was just like, oh my God. Like I barely washed my hair. But anyways, I washed my hair because I wanted to make it lighter, but this color is not going anywhere. It's so beautiful. And um, I think I may want to like mix the, the copper and the magenta together to put on my roots. But this part I don't know how I don't know how I'm gonna fix that because I want to get rid of that darkness and then my roots got a little hot roots from the red so I need to lighten that and then put everything to match the, this 
so we, this is uh, still under construction but oh by the way if anyone's interested if you guys are suffering from like hair your hair is thinning or you want to grow your hair or you want your hair to be shiny and thick and all of that this is my hair serum it's literally fucking amazing let me put some in my hair right now as we're speaking look it just like made it shiny like immediately you guys see that so you want to put that on your hair and on your roots this is my own products obviously look i'm done like i'm literally done this is how you know i use my own products but so you want to put this on your roots but then also in your hair like immediate shine immediate shine my products are fucking amazing like it's just insane like immediate shine like immediately and then don't forget your ends and then here we go it looks like i have a wig on literally there's a guy on youtube that's obsessed with me like i don't know if he's going to see this video or not but he thinks like I'm, i wear wigs and then but he's always like but her roots are hot roots like what's going on you know why is her roots hot and then she has dark and it's like he like analyzes my <laughs> hair colors it's fucking insane on youtube um but anyways i hope you guys did enjoy this look and i will see you guys tomorrow morning and that's it be safe and stop complaining and just focus on yourself and, and manifest whatever you want if you guys need my assistance go to elica.com if you guys want to purchase the products go to elica.com i'll see you guys tomorrow bye To work with me, visit my website, elliearquette.com. If you want to learn how to manifest on your own, you can grab my five video course on how to manifest anything into your 3D reality. I offer tarot only and tarot and coaching together. I offer assistance to my clients spiritually and scientifically. So if you want your life to turn around, whether it's health, finances, or love, contact me on my website, elliearquette.com.